at nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 91 at lamang na ang ating Letra Knights with a score of 43 sa ating EAC Generals with a score of 36. At ngayon sa ating halftime, mag-flashback Friday muna tayo. Ano nga, ga, ano nga ba ang mga highlights ng ating NCAA All-Star Games? At maliban sa ating mga All-Star players dito sa NCAA, sino-sino kaya ang mga artista na nakisama sa saya dito sa NCAA All-Star Games? Alamin natin yan, panoorin nyo ito. Bukod sa hardcore action, puno din ng iba't ibang trending na eksenang pumatok at nagbigay aliw sa mga manonood ng NCAA All-Star 2015. The beautiful muses and representatives of each school met on the court for the culminating ceremony of the Miss NCAA 2015 contest. Nagpakitang gilas ang top three candidates mula sa Arellano University. I don't want to judge the other contestants because each and every one of us are really unique. LPU. Whatever may be the result of this competition, I will accept it whether I win or lose. Thank you. At University of Perpetual Health for the much-awaited question and answer portion. And I do believe that above all second to God, there are the most precious and influential person in my life that I am taking this tricky room. That is all. Thank you, Fuego Atas! Miss NCAA Season 91! Congratulations to the... Lyra Velchez from the University of Perpetual Health retained the title and was crowned Miss NCAA 2015. Nagpakita ang walang iba kung hindi si Mr. Funny One himself, Ryan Rems. So dati-dati rate tumatakbo yung mga magagandang babae pag nilalapitan ko sila. Ngayon judge na ako. Improvement to. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Walang hindi na pa rock and roll sa loob ng San Juan Arena nang magbitaw ng words of wisdom ang alamat during the Miss NCAA 2015 portion of this year's All-Star event. Tama, maganda nga sila. Wala naman silang gusto sa akin. Hindi, wala rin silang pakinabang. Woo! Alright! Nagkita ang mga top 3-point shooters ng bawat team para magkaalaman na kung sino ang tunay na sharp shooter ng liga. Pagkalipas ng ilang rounds, natira ang LPU shooter na si Wilson Baltazar at ang star point guard ng letran na si Mark Cruz. The Ant-Man ended up on top at nakuha ang titulo ng 3-point shootout champion. Hey girl. Nagsimula ang NCAA All-Star 2015 in style with a dance princess herself, Miss Ella Cruz, na nagpakita ng kanyang sizzling dance moves on the hard court, showing everyone that she can definitely twerk it like Miley. Start twerking like Miley. Naglabasan ang Premier High Flyers oh. ng NCAA with a slam dunk oh. showdown sa pagitan ni Yankee Haruna ng CSB oh. Oh. at Jeb Bulawan mula sa LPU. The Blazer from Iloilo showcased his creativity with a double clutch dunk and windmill dunk. Oh. But the Lyceum Pirate would take the crown pagkatapos taktaka ng kanyang mga teammates na sina Shaq Alanes at Joseph Gabayni for the perfect 30. And he gets the perfect score, 30! Miss NCAA, season 9. Kaya mo yun? Tutukan ang aksyon dito sa NCAA season 91. Ayan nga, napaka-star-studded nga ng ating All-Star Games. Nang pa-rock and roll to the world ba kayo mga kapamilya? Kung oo ang sagot niyo, huwag nyo kalimutan gamitin ang ating hashtag at ating hashtag NCAA Season 91. At sa mga nanonood ngayon na hindi pa nakakasagot ng ating question to win, alimit nga ba ang
ang kinilabot ng org. Gamitin lang ang ating hashtag, hashtag galing EAC at hashtag galing CSJL. At pwede nyo makita ang mga results ng ating poll sa ating sports.abscbn.com website. Tuloy-tuloy lang pag-feed sa amin. Magbabalik ang NCAA Season 19. Kami po yung nagbabalik sa loob ng arena sa lungsod ng San Juan para sa pagpapatuloy at pagtatapos ng first week ng round 2 of NCAA Season 91 on ABS-CBN Sports and Action Channel 23 at Balls High Definition Channel 167. Attention all PLDT Home and Smart Subscribers. Enjoy entertainment everywhere with the country's biggest selection of videos on demand from iFlix. Just visit iflix.com that's iflix.com and start your complimentary 14-day trial today noong unang best sila nagharap noong August 7 lamang ang letran at the half 36 to 28 ngayon similar but lamang naman ng pito 43 to 36 against EAC sa magandang hapon ulit Pilipinas saan ka man naroon sa Luzon besides Mindanao at sa buong mundo ako po si Andre Felix alongside Coach Olsen Rarasela Letran led as much as 16 Coach O pero it was a good second quarter for EAC na idikit ngayon nga lamang na lang ng pito itong Letran kontra sa EAC well a strong start for the Letran Knights coming off a loss gusto talaga nila makabawi 26 big points in the first quarter for Letran pero nung second quarter eh medyo hindi na maganda yung linaro nila kaya nakahabol itong EAC Generals Tingnan naman natin ngayon ang ating halftime stats at ang starter points kahit lamang itong uh, letran, eh dehado naman sila sa starter points nila dahil ang kumamada nga baka sa kupunan ni Coach Aldenayo ay ang kanyang bench. Yes, a balanced scoring for uh, letran. 21 from their starters, 22 from their bench. Pero ang EAC yun na naging problema nila. Maganda yung scoring ng kanilang starting unit, their starting five. Pero pagdating sa bench, four points lang ang uh, na-contribute nila. Ayun nga, sana si Jore Morada who usually comes off the bench for EAC ang malaking tulong sana para dito. But uh, again, ang strength ng uh, Letran is uh, forcing turnovers. Ganun ang nangyari sa first half. Ang strength ng Letran is points of turnovers. Ganun ang nangyari rin sa first half. Matutuloy pa kaya nila yon dito sa second half. Pareho ang field goal percentage ng parehong kuponan. 46% although mas marami ngang na-convert Itong Letran, kaya nga, they are up 43-36 compared dito sa EAC. Hindi pa masyadong nagko-connect ang outside shooting ng Letran Knights. Para naman 
sa Generals, ang kanilang leading scorer is that man na gustong bumawi na si Sidney Onwobere. Eh, nung last game nga against uh, San Beda, hindi talaga pumamada itong si Sidney Onwobere. Pero ngayon, he is leading the way with 12-9 in the second quarter. The Ant-Man, Mark Cruz, Letran's leading scorer, has 11. Nambatak with 6, Soliano with 6, Kevin Rakal. One-third of the big three just has 4. There's a 5 on the floor for Coach Andy De Guzman, Fernan Mejos, Francis Monsayak, and Jerry Cogego, Sidin Wubere, and Hamadu Lamino without Re Jorem Morada, I believe. This is... I think their strongest five on the floor para kay Coach Andy, para naman kay Coach Aldenayo. It is Mark Cruz, Ray Nambata, Kevin Rakal, the big three on the floor, along with Felix Aprico and the hardworking Joe Marie Soliano. And as expected, ito si Mark Cruz in the second half, he will not be coming off the bench para sa Letra Knights. He will start dito sa third quarter. Sabi ni Gray, hindi ni Jonathan, Pero ni Gray, apparently, hashtag galing CSJL, pero marami ang pwedeng mangyari. Galing LBU. Sabi naman ni Michelle, siyempre, Letra Knights, we surprised everyone this season. I couldn't have said it any better. Michelle, James Carlo Mercado goes, ayan na, go Letra. Keep tweeting. We are currently at number one dun sa galing hashtag. So, hindi lang uh, sila number one sa uh, pag-force on turnovers. They're also number one in the Twitter sphere. On Wobere, lumabas. Doesn't get the friendly roll. He scored 12 in the first half. Eto nga, nagbibira, nagtatawanan. Naglolokan to si Francis Monsayak and uh, Mark Cruz. Both at 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and both are good friends. To si Sidney on Wobere. 13 points so far, yes. 9 coming in the second quarter. It's a good matchup. Munsayak and Mark Cruz, nagbabantayan. Rakal against Onwobere. Balik kay Mark Cruz. It's the Ant-Man versus the Little General. 6 under 24. Cruz waiting for Nambatak to curl. Nambatak has to fire one too strong. It wasn't the shot that Coach Adinayo wanted for sure. Onwobere. Feels he has that mismatch against Rakal and Jerry Cogego. His activity on the floor is just really there, and uh, you cannot replace an in Jerry Cogego, but he couldn't handle the leather that time around. And there's that uh, big lineup of uh, the EAC Generals mm -hmm. who played uh, well in the pagtatapos ng second quarter. Inulit na naman ni Coach Andy De Guzman. You have Diego, you have Lamino, and Onuabere inside at the same time. Monsayak, kinawagan ng pangalawang personal foul o ng team foul ng AAC with a minute and 13 seconds got by here in the third quarter. Mark Cruz at the line. The Ant-Man. At yan naman si K-Rax, Kevin Raral. The Ant-Man is a 72% free throw shooter. And coincidentally, Tran, as a team, also shoot 72% from that strike. And there is that press being employed, as always, by Letran. Their trademark defense this season that forces teams a lot of turnovers. And that's a problem you have when you have a big lineup. That those uh, uh, players more inside play the big uh, position. Now you only have Mejos and Simon Sayak handling the basketball and trying to beat that press. Like what I said earlier in the first half, the run average is 10.3 steals per game and forces their opponents 27.7 turnovers per outing. Simon Sayak against Mark Cruz. It's a little general's turn to execute this offense. At Takabawe, Kupanina, Nakuhana ni Mark Cruz ng foul Simon Sayak. Ngayon naman. Simon Sayak, ang nakabingwit ng isda at ng foul kay Mark Cruz. Yes, good pick and roll action there between Simon Sayak and to si Lamino. At uh, wala na magagawa dun to si Mark Cruz kung di foul in ito si Simon Sayak. And Simon Sayak now has 8 to his name. He is their leading scorer. Almost 14 points per game in 25 minutes for the little general. Former San Beda Red Cub. 
Mint Shadon, he splits his charity. Lamino is there for his for the rebound and he heads to the line for a possible. Actually for two points. People uh one play for him. Balikan naman natin. See si Star Magic Angel Myrtle with her fellow angel, Jet Monero. Marco? Yes, Andre Kasama ko nga ngayon ang isa sa mga hinahangaan talaga sa ating Star Magic Angels, the athlete, Jed Monero. Jed, thank you very much sa pumunta dito sa San Juan Arena, Spars NCA. Ba't ka pala napabisita? Uh, actually, yung boyfriend ko talaga yung nanunood ng NCAA. So, uh, sa support, siyempre sinusuportahan ng si boyfriend on the side. <laughs> Ako, Jed, akala ko pa naman ako yung binisita mo oh, dito. Oh, siyempre ikaw din, di ba? Di ba? Pinuntahan, dinex kita, not na receive mo. <laughs> Jed, alam mo, maraming girls and boys yung pumahanga talaga sa'yo dahil you're really fit and healthy. Meron ka pang abs sa'yo, no? Um, Jed, how do you stay fit? So, how do I stay fit? Um, the usual diet, exercise, gym, and naglalaro pa rin ako ng volleyball every weekend. So, yun, continue staying a volleyball lang yun. Angels na parehong nakapink ngayon, Jed Montero and Myrtle Sarel, Sarosa, good friends. Thank you then, Myrtle. Gusto ko sana tanongin kay Jed eh, ayaw, ayaw mo ba? Nag-volleyball ka na ngayon naman. She's a, in showbiz, nag-modeling din siya. Ayaw niya bang samahan si Myrtle sa pag-court side? Pwede rin, ano? Di ba? Oh. Ah, since she knows her sport. Pero grabe yung supporta niya sa boyfriend niya. Ah. Manonood lang ng NCAA, sinusuportahan pa manood ng NCAA. James Martinez. At yun, tumatakbo. Big three. Ganda naman ng connection. It was nampatak to Rakal to Mark Cruz. But Mark Cruz limping. Medyo mali yung bagsak niya doon. Coach O. Yes, for a while there, it was down to six. Itong lamang ng letran. Pero ngayon, umakit na naman sa sapu. Sidney on Wobere trying to create. But that time, hindi nakakonvert si Ot Wobere. Tumatakbo na naman itong mga walang kapaguran. Na Letran Knights, ganda naman. Hanap! Si Steven Rakal kay Christian Balagasay. Ito na papansin mo, Jay. On one end, puro four shots na nakikita natin si AC. But on another end, because of passing, nice passing from Letran Knights. Easy shots, easy points na nakikita natin from the Letran Knights. Umakit na naman ang kalamangan ng Letran. 51-39. Season 91 live and exclusive on ABS CBN Sports in Action. Panoorin natin ulit itong uh, strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Hello, Kevin Rahal. K-Rax now has six. And for our fast play of the game, also brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life, it was that big three connection of Letran. Kahit medyo mali yung uh, pag-atak ni Mark Cruz, medyo na... na Parang na-twist niya ng konting ankle niya. And there's Pancom member Father Victor Calvo. Father Vic always... Supports the Letra Knights, of course. Mario Bonleon is back on the hard court. 
Sydney on Wolverine and Francis Monsayak will be given their respective breathers with coach Andy De Guzman. Ito yung flexibility naman ng uh, Letra Knights, Gray. Ano? Sinabi natin, three picks kanina yung uh, EA EAC with Diego, Lamino, and uh, on Ubere inside. Eh, may pang-counter naman to si Coach uh, Aldin Ayo ngayon. Natulo lang sa tinira ni Ninang Batak doon. But talking about those big men of Letra, ngayon nasa loob eh, si Kevin Racal at the three, you have uh, Abrico at the four, at si Baligasay at uh, the five position. So, meron din siyang uh, uh, three bigs na nasa loob ngayon. Pero, having those three bigs, kahit na nandun yan, eh, pressing game pa rin ang pinapakita ni Coach Aldin Ayo because, tulad ang sinasabi natin kanina pa, ito si uh, Apriku at ito si Rakal can really play those uh, three and four positions. Yes. At uh, defensively, very active din sila kahit sila nagsa-slide down dun sa 3 or 4 spot. Pasqua at the line. Tinawagan ng pangatlong personal si Mark Cruz. Pasqua gets on the board with his first two points. Hitting those two free throws. Bong Quinto comes back in. Para kay Ray ng Batak. Papaupo muna, papahingahin ni Coach Alinayo. Itong si ng Batak na may 8 puntos na sa kanyang pangalan. Oh. Offensive foul. Ganda naman ang depensa ni Mejos kay Rakal. Kaya tinawagan ng offensive foul ito si Kay Rax. Pangalawa ni Kay Rax, pang-anim na team foul ng Letran. Here in the third quarter, isa pa lang ang team foul ng EAC, Coach O. Actually, ito sa, when you talk about scoring, ito, yung, ito ang uh, so far wala pa dito sa EAC Generals to si Mejos. Uh, only uh, two points so far in this game. The average is more than uh, eight points per game. Pero dito sa game na to, so far, hindi mo siya na masyado nakakontribute. Talagang pinipwersa ni Lamino sa loob eh, no? Hindi nga lang siya makakonvert. And the drive, that time by Quinto, and he gets fouled by Mario Bonleon. Oh no, it's not on Bonleon, it's on Lamino. Pangalawa ni Lamino. Pangalawang team foul ng EAC on Mubere. Pagkatapos ng isang minutong pahinga, babalik. Iupo muna si Jericho Jego. And, oh, kala ko mintis na. Sasabihin ko si Bong Indo doon. And there is the little general, Francis Monsayak, at the bench. Give him a breather by coach Andy De Guzman. And Bong Quinto... Hits on both free throws there. Quinto now with seven off the bench. The Bicol Pampanga native will take a breather along with the Letran Knights and the EAC Generals. There will be a TV timeout. Lamang ng 14 and Letran 55 to 41. Friday, actually the last Friday of the month of August. It's another NSA triple header. <laughs> Nakarelax na lang, tapos nakita niya na sa TV siya, tumayo siya, and smile, you're on cam, ladies. Suplat. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit yung katabi mo lang dyan eh. Floor director natin na si Larry Diang. Maraming salamat ulit sa inyong pagtutok, mga kapamilya. Andre Felix. Together with Coach Olsen, Rara Racela. And at court side is Myrtle Sarosa. Bon Leon has to kick it out. 5 under 24 on Mubere attacks. Uy, nilabas lang ang uh, bola doon. Sayang yung drive ni on Mubere. Mark Cruz. And over to Balagasay. Now Quinto has it. Bong Quinto with the ball. They still have more than enough time to execute an offense. Rakal. 
last touchdown ni Meos. Yes, Maganda yung defense ni Meos doon. Ano? It was a mismatch. Rakal had the advantage in size. Pero nasundutan siya ni Meos doon sa ilalim. Lamino. Pinigay kay On Ubere. On Ubere against Abrigo. And it will be dalawang opisyales. Sabi nila, kami pa sila nang uh, tinatawag. Pero foul. Tinatawag kay Abrigo pang pangatlo na ni Felix Abrigo. There's Coach Aldenayo. I rarely see him show some emotions. Uh, although, of course, he got suspended for having two technicals this season. Isang beses nilagyan niya ng salamit niyong opisyales. Isang beses naman yung upuan incident. Pero, minsan cool na cool lang yan si oh. Coach Alden. Kahit nung All-Star, hindi mo na nata nakita mumiti si Coach Alden na yun. <laughs> si Coach Alden na yun. Um, actually, very successful in his business galing sa ABC Ideas yan sa Sorsogon. Also an assistant coach in the pro leagues before he became the head coach of Letran who was sixth place, didn't finish in the final four in season 19. Last season, last season that is, nine wins and nine losses sila nun. So gustong ibahin ni Coach Alden ang kabalakan nitong Colegio de San Juan in season 91. Foul sa baba, sabi ng ating uh, official. Foul number five, Mario Bolle. Yung pinag-usapan natin si Bong Quinto kanina. No? He's actually their uh, main um, offensive threat in the post. Aside from uh, K-Rax, of course. Pero kung titignan mo yung mga big men nila, si, si Soliano, si Balagasay, si Aprico, uh -huh. hindi mga post sa players talaga yun. Eh. De, Normally, eh. kung gusto nila pumunta sa post, ang pinupunta nila, it's either Rakalo na may smash <laughs> or to si Quinto. Actually, ganda naman ng agaw ni Juan Ubere. Hinahabol siya ni Luis, pero talagang nauna na. Si Sid ni Juan Ubere, tumuloy-tuloy. Bumabawi itong si Sid na may 17 puntos na. Sid ni On Wubere, itong huling laban nga nila nung Martes lamang. Kalaban ang San Beda On Wubere didn't score so well. 6 points in just in 21 minutes. Down on the low block, itong si Apriku. Narinig ka yata, pero ganda nung tapik ni On Wubere. Ganda matchup yun, Apriku versus uh, On Wubere. Two very active players, especially on defensive end. Malagasay, walang tinamaan doon kundi board lock. Aprico, one second left. Dahil di tinamaan yung ring. Tinamaan naman ni Aprico, gilid ng board. Score standstill, 55-45. For Letran's favor. A foul will be called on Mark Cruz and it will be the Ant-Man's fourth personal foul, Coach O. Oo, oh, isa, 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 isa nang nag uh, nag foul trouble itong uh, Letran. Si Aprico has three. You si, see uh, Marvin Cruz, ah uh, sorry, Mark Cruz has four. And I think this is one uh, one thing that they can take advantage of, ano? Pagiging uh, talking about EAC, yung pagiging nasa penalty nitong Letran. So every foul dito sa third quarter, every foul ng Letran will result to two free throws para dun sa EAC. Tignan na natin ulit doon as Mejos converts. Fernan has four. Four points, that is. And here's Mark Cruz. Di nilabas ni Aldenayo despite that four personal fouls. And Felix Abrigo with a good pass from Mark Cruz. Abrigo with seven points today. And tumuloy-tuloy. Ito si Raymond Pasqua. Parang uh, obstacle lang, of course, yung <laughs> dinaanan niya, you know? <laughs> Court to court, to si Pasqua. Parang Olsen Rasela lang, back in the day. Parang iniibutan lang ang kanyang mga bantay, itong si Rara. Balagasay has the leather, doesn't know what to do with the ball. Kito directing traffic. Kito with a spin against two defenders, against Laminus. Long outstretched arms. And a bola. Para sa letran pa rin, ray ng batak. Pagkatapos ipahinga ni Coach Alden ng ilang minuto, ay babalik sa hard court ng The Arena. At si, uupo naman si Bong Quinto. Yes, Coach? Si Balagasa is doing the right thing. Ano? Just stepping in. Every time makita niya itong bantay, uh, gumabantay sa kanya si uh, Lamino, every time kung may help to si Lamino doon sa penetration ng Letran, si Balagasa walang ginagawa kundi step in and trying to get to the offensive class, giving multiple opportunities para dito sa Letran. Nang bata, that perimeter J. 
Oh, and a foul. Away from the ball. Christian Palagasay, pangatlo na niya yan. Ninth team foul of Letran. Letran has committed 12 personal fouls in the first half. Nine here in the third quarter, total of 21 team fouls. And talking about the fall trouble, ito si Palagasay, e three fouls na rin. So, isa-isa nang uh, napupunta at sa fall trouble, itong players ni Coach Aldin Ayo. Again, two free throws because of that uh -huh. foul. Kanina, 11. And ngayon, bumababa na itong uh, kalabangan nila. Walo na lang itong hinahabol ng EAC. We still have an eternity of basketball. Lamino with the offensive rebound. Could not convert inside. And it will be a holding foul on Fernand Mejos. The second, just the fourth team foul of EAC with 2.32. Remaining here in the third quarter. Marcus, Sinesenas, you play. Luib. Nagahanap ng mapapasahan si Luib. Puro fouls ang nakikita natin dito, Coach Olsen. Sa ilang possession, it will be a foul again. This time away from the ball. Raymond Pasqua is third. And that will give EAC their fifth foul. That will send a letter at night to the free throw line. Dito kay Ant-Man Mark Cruz. Yeah, the referees are calling it tight. Yes. So players should adjust. You know, alam niyo nang penalty kayo. Both teams are actually in the penalty. So alam niyo nang pag uh, nag-fall kayo, or two free throws ay bibigay niyo sa kabila. So alam niyo uh, the referees are really calling it tight. So dapat nag-a-adjust sa mga players. Huwag masyado silang manghahawak. And uh, not so that uh, you won't give an opportunity dun sa kabilang team to score from the free throw line. Mark Cruz, with that free throw converted, has exceeded his point average by a point. He now has 17 average because Mark Cruz is 16 per game. Mejos, muntik na mabitawan ng bola. Gives up his dribble. Finds Jericho Jego. Nakakapasok lang ulit. And there is Jericho Jego converting. Pero Jego, after scoring 14, nung Martes against San Beda, now just has four. Go Idol Mark, the astonishing Ant-Man Cruz. Magpaulan ka naman this game ng three-point shots, Idol Mark. Haha, -ha, sabi ni Irwin Notato. At right on cue, tumingin pa kay Mahamadu Lamino. Yes, para sa tres, para kay Ant-Man Mark Cruz. Ang maganda yung mga sets ng uh, Letran uh, Knights. Offensive, I'm talking about offensive sets. Huh? They have a nice running game and because of their pressing game. Dami yes. nila opportunities at the break. But once they set... Uh, they set up on the offensive end. Uh -huh. Napakaganda ng sets na tinatapo ni, ni Coach uh, Aldin Ayo. I like their uh, player movement, their ball movement. Ball movement. Oh. Maganda, maganda. Munsayak. Nakaagaw doon. Parang pinagawa ng isang candy ng isang bata. At nakadlos putos per Mark Cruz. Talagang patuloy ang pagkamada niya dito. 20 loss na ang ginagawa ni Ant-Man nung Martes. Kahit natalo sila sa San Sebastian, kumamada. Si Mark Cruz ng 30. It was his season high last Tuesday in 35 minutes with 30 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 steals. Apriku, tinawagan din ang pang-apat na personal foul, Coach Olsen. As we see, to see si, uh, Sidney Onwubere getting that foul from Apriku. Fourth foul ng Apriku, but two points for Sidney Onwubere. And that was our master guapo move of the quarter. Watch out for more guapo moves. Powered by Master Sigreto ng mga guapo. Sedon Ubere now hits the 20, 20 point mark to go along with his 7 rebounds. So, talagang bawi itong si Sedon Ubere in this game. Pero, di pa rin nakakadikit. Actually, EAC has never led in this game. And we've had one deadlock where the score was just two all. Turn over there for Mark Cruz. Left, right, left, right. Simon Sayak. And oh, oh! Everything but the shot. <laughs> Sayang. Luib. Nakita. Kumat na si Nambatak. Wala. Too strong. Bothered by Lamino's defense. On Ubera sees an all along. Francis Simon Sayak. Para sa kanyang pang 12 puntos ngayon. 
Tiga po, anim na lang bigla itong hinahabol ng EAC. Doing a good job, really, of hanging around. The whip, the cross. At wow! Batik mula sa labas si Anna Mark Cruz. Ilista mo na ang pangatlong tres putos ni Mark Cruz at pang 25 na kinakamada ni Astonishing Ant-Man Mark Cruz. Again, those plays for Mark Cruz are coming off those set plays and set screens na binibigay ng mga big men ni Coach Alden Ayo. Nice sets, good ball movement, but better screens by the big men of the Retran Knights. At yes, para sa tres, sa pagtatapos ng ating third quarter, lamang ang Letran, 67-58, fourth quarters coming up after the break. <laughs>